Welcome back to the Getting Started course. In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up a workflow to delete a to-do. And setting this up is going to be easy as creating a UI button, which is going to be the delete button, and also setting up a function to be triggered whenever that button is clicked, which actually goes in to delete a to-do from the application. So let's get into setting this up. The first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead to start the UI setup process. And for that, I'm going to go to the widgets and bring in an icon button. So this is going to be the UI layer that triggers the action. So for the icon style, I'm going to set this to a trash icon. And for the style, I'm going to set its button variant to the tertiary button so that it doesn't look too overblown. All right, this looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the app file, the app JavaScript file, and I'm going to write a function to delete a to-do. So let's add in a new function that is going to be called delete to-do. And this function is going to take the to-do's ID as an argument. What this function is going to do is delete the to-do from our to-do's array. So we want to call data.todos and we want to use the dot splice method which deletes an item in an array giving the index and the count which is the number of items we want to delete in this case it's just going to be one to do all right that looks good let's head back to the canvas and we want to set up the click event for the button to execute the delete function so let's go back to content and for the onclick we want to execute a javascript function this is going to be in app.js file and we want to call the delete to do. For the ID, we can pull that from the current index, which is available within the list widget. So this is going to be current index. And that looks good to go. Now we can give this a spin. So clicking on the delete icon should delete the to do. And you can see that this actually works. We are able to delete to do's from the application. And uh, yeah, this works smoothly. All right, so that's how easy it was to set up a delete flow for our to-do app. We had to set up the UI using the delete widget or a button widget, and then write a function for us to actually have that to-do removed from the state of the application. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to set up editing of a to-do that has already been created. I'll see you in the next one.